This video covers how to install an under machine sensor mounting kit. The mold mount offset has been removed for clarity. In most cases, it is removed for larger barrier molds. To begin, raise the machine to a height that gives good accessibility. Begin at the rear of the machine with the swivel clamp weldment and the clamp plate. These are the brackets for the rear grade sensor and rear steer mounting bracket. They will attach to the rear frame tube that is part of the mold offset assembly. Place the swivel clamp weldment against the frame with the welded round tube towards the rear of the machine. Place the clamp plate against the opposite side of the frame tube and attach with four bolts. Snug the bolts to clamp the two plates together on the rear frame tube. The clamp plate used in this example has a piece of square tubing welded to it that is used for the rear crawler steering sensor. This will not be necessary if your machine is front steer only. When placing the bolts across the top of the frame, make sure that all the hoses and cables will not interfere with the brackets or the bolts. The location of this assembly may have to be adjusted later to assure the proper location and function of the sensors. The threaded end of the sensor jack arm is inserted into the round tube facing the rear of the machine. Be sure to place the washer over the thread before placing the thread into the round tube. Place another washer and the lock nut on the thread and tighten until snug. Do not over tighten to the point that the sensor jack arm will not swivel. Now the jack assembly can be mounted into the slot between the two pieces of square tubing. When tightening the clamp, make sure that the clamping tab is situated in a vertical position. At this time, hand tight is sufficient as adjustments will be made later. Loosen the lockdown bolts in the square tube of the clamp plate. Insert the short drop tube weldment into the square tube. Check for clearance above the frame to assure there is no interference. Snug the lockdown bolts. Loosen the T-handle to allow insertion of the rear steer sensor jack. Insert the jack into the bracket with the adjustment crank handle towards the mold as shown. Install the collar onto the jack. Be sure to place it so that the locking T-handle is threaded into the hole in the outer tube of the jack. Move to the front of the machine and attach the front sensor weldment to the plate on the front cross member of the machine frame. Place it on the machine with the two bolts provided. Place the 19-inch horizontal arm weldment into the square tubing that is welded to the front sensor weldment. Insert it with the open square tubing in a horizontal position. Hand tighten the two lockdown bolts. Next, insert the other 19-inch horizontal arm weldment into the previously mounted arm weldment. Insert it into the horizontal square tubing with the square tubing on this piece in a vertical position now insert the short drop tube weldment with the front steering sensor jack into the vertical square tubing and snug the lockdown bolts. Be sure that the front steering sensor jack is inserted so that the adjustment crank handle is towards the mold side of the machine. Hand tighten the T-handle and install the collar on the jack as previously described on the rear steering jack. Install the threaded end of the sensor jack arm into the round tube that is welded on the front sensor weldment with a washer on top and bottom. Install the lock nut and tighten so that the sensor arm weldment is able to swivel. Then install the front grade sensor jack assembly between the two pieces of square tubing on the sensor weldment arm. Be sure to align the clamping tab in a vertical position and hand tighten the T-handle. At this time all brackets should be mounted on the machine. Check to be sure that all parts are in the proper location. The machine has now been set over a string line to represent job site conditions and the sensors will be installed onto the machine. Set the string line under the machine in a position that is off center towards the mold side of the machine. Allow enough clearance between the string and the inside of the machine's crawlers. The front grade sensor will be installed onto the bottom of the vertical grade jack in the standard mounting bracket. The aluminum hub on the sensor will face away from the mold with the sensor grade grid and tube facing the rear of the machine as shown. Run the sensor cable in a neat fashion towards the front of the machine and attach it at the normal grade sensor connection located on the front post. The front steer sensor will attach directly to the jack with the bracket provided. This will be different than the normal method of attaching the steer sensor on a tube. Mount the sensor so the cable is facing towards the mold side of the machine. 
from the sensor cable in a neat fashion to the standard sensor connection for front sensor at the operator's panel. Mount the rear grade sensor to the vertical jack at the rear of the machine in the same method as used in the front. Make sure the aluminum hub faces away from the mold. Run the cable in a neat fashion towards the top of the machine and connect to the standard rear grade connection located at the operator's panel. For mounting the rear steer sensor on an all crawler steer machine, it will be necessary to use the short sensor tube that is provided with the machine. This is necessary to properly locate the rear steering sensor so that the steering wand is approximately 8 inches in front of the rear crawler pivot pin. Once the sensors are adjusted and the machine is in automatic mode, the arrangement should look similar to this view when looking from the front of the machine towards the rear of the machine. It may be necessary at this time to recheck all of your mounting bolts and clamps to be sure they are tight.